Solving a linear programming model using graphical method. To solve a linear programming model by using graphical method, first draw the graph and then identify the visible region and after that find the optimal solution. Suppose we want to solve this linear programming model by using graphical method. We will begin by drawing the graph. A linear programming graph is made up by constraint lines. Note that each constraint in the model represents one line. To draw a line, two points must be obtained. To obtain the points for line 1, first let t equal to 0, substitute it into the equation and get c equals to 80. So the first point for line 1 is 0, 80. And then let c equals to 0, substitute it into the equation and get t equals to 60. So the second point for line 1 is 60, 0. Do the same thing for line 2. First, let t equal to 0, substitute it into the equation, and get c equals to 100. So the first point for line 2 is 0, 100. And then let c equal to 0, substitute it into the equation, and get t equals to 50. So the second point for line 2 is 50, 0. Next, plot the two points and connect them with a line to obtain a graph. After the graph is drawn, the next thing to do is to identify the visible region. The visible region is the region that contains solution. To identify the visible region, look at the inequality signs of the constraints. The less than equal sign indicates that the visible region lies below the line or to the left of the line. For the first constraint, the sign is less than or equal. This means that the region lies below the first line. For the second constraint, the sign is also less than or equal. This means that the region also lies below the second line. The visible region is the overlapping region among the lines. After the visible region is identified, find the optimal solution by listing out the points that form the visible region. Here, there are four points that form the visible region. Three of the points are easy to be determined because they lie on the graph axis, but this point right here is a bit tricky to find because it doesn't lie on any axis. However, it is a point of intersection between line 1 and line 2. So, it can be found by solving simultaneous equation between the two lines. Solving the equation simultaneously, the point is found to be 30, 40. Next, build a table with two columns like this and put all the points in the first column. The second column is for the objective function z. Calculate z for all points by substituting the t and c values in the objective function equation. And then choose the highest z value. The point with the highest z value is the optimal solution. 